So today we're going to talk about our third kind of nonlinear graph, which is called an ellipse. So this is the standard form of ellipse, an ellipse, x minus k squared over a squared plus y minus h over b squared equals 1. So where k, h is your center. So for this equation, we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So for this particular <coughs> ellipse, we have a center at 0, 0. Its major axis is going to lie along the x-axis because we know that 2 is greater than b. If b was greater than 2, these, I mean, <laughs> than 2, then A, then these two would be switched. And its major axis has a length of 2A, and its minor axis has a length of 2B. That probably won't make much sense now, but we're going to do an example. So we have x squared plus y squared, x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. So A is equal to you have to remember that this is a squared and this is b squared. So a is equal to the square root of 3, b is equal to 2. Okay, so for this one, since a is greater than b, because 9 is in fact greater than 4, its major axis is going to fall along the x-axis and its length is going to be 2a. So the length of this is going to be 6. So since the center is at 0, 0, I'm going to just do that and label that center. So it's a major axis, so f it's going to go 6 in this direction and 6 in this direction. Or no, excuse me. It's going to go 3 in this direction and 3 in this direction. Okay. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Its minor axis is going to be the y-axis because b is less than a. And it's going to be the length of 2b. So it's going to be the length of 2 times 2. So it's going to go up to this way and down to this way. And if we connect the points, we get this oval shape. Because since A and B are not equal, it's always going to look like an oval with one of the axes being bigger than the other. So now we're going to do x minus 3 squared over 25 plus y minus 4 squared over 16. So first we're going to find out what a. So a is equal to 5, b is equal to 4. Since a is greater than b, our major axis is going to be the x-axis, and it's going to have a length of 2 times 5. So 10. Our minor axis, I'm going to put mi for minor axis, is going to be along the y-axis, and it's going to have a length of 2 times b which is 8. So our center this time, instead of being at 0, 0, it's going to be at, if you remember, this is y minus k, x minus k, y minus h. And our center is always k, h. So our center is going to be 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3 up, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to have to add some lines here because I'm going to run out of room. Okay, so its major axis is going to go 5 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, and 5 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Its minor axis is going to go 2 up and 2 down, and our ellipse, our ellipse is going to look like that. And I know it's a really bad ellipse, 
it looks really bad. But that's because I'm not using real graph paper. If you're at home and you're using real graph paper, your ellipses should come out very egg-like. It should look like a perfect egg. So that's actually all we're going to do with ellipses today. Make sure you come back and we're going to go over our last kind of nonlinear equation, which is called an, a hyperbola.